note. <laughs> I'll oh, give you one of these. Yeah. <laughs> and go. Yeah, you're rolling. Are you rolling? <laughs> All right, you've been rolling. I think you cut it out. All right, Kimber. Welcome to Music City, Nashville, Tennessee. This is Day Drinking Nashville with Kim Burr and, and Amy. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. Um, we are so happy today to be doing something that we've never done. We are not drinking alcohol. Day not drinking. <laughs> Day not, not drinking. drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, first I'm gonna start like this and maybe this will turn my frown upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Although, yes, well, even though we're not technically day drinking, we are, but just non-alcoholic things. Non-alcoholic so. things. And so, what is that that you sell? Call yourself a uh, non-alcoholic? I, I, non I, I guess I am. Four monster. of these bottles are mine, and these two cans are mine. So. Non-alcoholic. I guess I'm a non-alcoholic at this point. So, so we have special guests here, non-alcoholic um, special guests. Philip Schaus, who's um, in here with us from Nashville. He's a guitar player, and he's actually a, one of the best guitar players and singers that I know in town, but he's an all-around great guy. <laughs> okay, my wallet's over there. Yeah. So <laughs> I know, I'll put the tip jar. Thanks for having me on for this. Yes. This, is, this is great. We're Thank super you. excited. Thank you. And so Philip is kind of um, a resident here at Wine Down. I feel very honored about that. And we, during the pandemic, everything got turned around and all the people that you've been playing for, like, like with a lot of people in Nashville, everything got canceled and all the tours got put on hold. Mm -hmm. And I saw you doing the Beatles music on Instagram all the time. Mm -hmm. And I um, asked you if you'd be a guinea pig for me and actually consider doing a Beatles brunch and you did. And it worked. Talk and about that. How many? We've had five or six now. We've had five or six. six. Yeah, every couple months we come in, uh, Monica Llewellyn and I, sit in the corner over there and we do uh, Beatles tunes for a couple hours and that's pretty much it. Love it. And, and she serves the great food here and they have great a great bar and the food's great. So Thanks. yeah, it's awesome. And Monica Llewellyn, she is an amazing mm -hmm. um, guitar player and vocalist also. So we love having her here. And uh, that's a real Nashville experience. I always talk about where else can you go to hear Beatles tunes that are being sung and played by someone who's played with the lineup I'm about to tell you. So. Philip, tell us about yourself. Um, tell us who you've toured with and um, who you still tour with mm -hmm. and what's going on in your music life. Yes. Uh, my, uh, my two gigs, I'm, I'm about to get back to work after 18 months uh, with Ace Fraley, I play bass for Ace Fraley from KISS and we're doing a tour with Alice Cooper starting in about a month or five weeks. I also currently play for Accept, the metal band, mm -hmm. and uh, we've got a couple things this year and the next year is pretty much Europe for half of the year. Wow. So that'll be great. Um, before that, Gene Simmons solo band. I played with Gene. Um, and I okay. did country stuff for about 10 years. I moved to Nashville in 2004 and began my for hire guy, guitar player, gunslinger thing for the next 10 years. And um, yeah, it's been, it's been great. I know, and I, for, I forget that you did country. I know you told me that, but who were some of the people you played with? My first one was David Lee Murphy. Oh, and uh, then I did random. I did a few with some one-offs, but uh, Chris Cagle, and then Rodney Atkins was my final like oh, yeah. long-term gig. And I say played country, they sang country, but I didn't play country guitar. I played southern rock guitar. <laughs> I still can't play any country guitar at all. But no, it was great. It was ten years of of working steady and seeing the country and learning a ton. It was and having a bunch of fun and making a bunch of friends. So it was great. That's awesome. My That's car was awesome. getting broken into outside. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to ask you, you, with you being here as long as you have, mm -hmm. uh, and you do know some of the, I always call it old Nashville versus new Nashville. Right. Tell me something that you really enjoy about uh, Nashville in general. Like what is one thing you really love about Nashville? Um, I don't know, as, for the, as far as the music community, when I was doing, I did a show, a long running show uh, every week for like about five years. Mm -hmm. And it was a... Uh, not like really a jam thing, but we did like 70s rock covers. We had special guests, and and I guess I felt it too, but the guests felt it more that lived out of town. They would come in and say, the community here is so supportive of each other. Mm -hmm. If they were in New York or LA, if they were from there, it's like you don't get that kind of support That's there. Right. And it really was special. We had a um, great group of people that would always come every week and support, and we got to be all be friends, and that was the main thing of, of the show for me was the family that it kind of created and yes. that the guests were the first people to bring that to my attention because I live here. Yes. It's like, oh, that's how it is. 
you know, they'd come and they go, wow, this, you don't find this anywhere else. So that's it's, so it's, true. It is still like that. It's a, it's a good community. And so was so the name of that show was? It was the Rock and Roll Residency. Um, it ran yes. like almost weekly for that's five right. years. Yes. And we had, I mean, we had the, the core band was so great. Probably the best band I've been in. Uh, but then we, the guest stars, we had uh, Gene came and played. We had um, Alice Cooper came and played. Um, got uh, Derek St. Holmes, Robin Zander from Cheap Trick. Mm -hmm. uh, the guys okay. from Deep Purple came, Roger and uh, We have like five or six Rock and Roll Hall of Famers like wow. at a Ir old Irish bar in Dumundry. That is so Guinness. great. I mean, where else can you get that? Yeah. It's very Nashville. It was really know? special. And it's, you know, it was, not just country. That's what we, you and I talk about yeah. that all the time. Oh, There's yeah. so many genres of music here. There's so many people that live here, not just country music artists, but rock and roll artists, uh, 70s, 80s, not Christian artists, mm -hmm. uh, jazz musicians. There's just so many people that live here in Nashville. I might know and a disco guy. You might know a disco guy? <laughs> My I trophy know, has I think I know one too. <laughs> yeah. But I enjoy, I grew up here, I enjoy that aspect, like you said, because yeah. people do help people. And just this past week, someone I had in, a uh, supplier, uh, had never been to Nashville. He's like, the people here are so nice. Yeah. He's like, every store that we've been to, everybody's so nice. And I said, that's how it's always been. Yeah. That's how it's always been. And, and we'll continue to be. Uh, yes. It's maintained that, even though the, gr the growth rate is just exponential. And it's been that way for over 10 years now. But it still seems like it still has you know, that part of the charm left. Right. Even though yeah. A lot of the buildings are gone and things like that. The landscape's changed. But that still kind of seems, you know, it's, it's kept. Well, if you think about country music, even back in the 50s and 60s, you know, you've got Patsy Cline, you've got Hee Haw, you have all these different aspects of music. Then you go into the next generation, and you know, you had the aspects of music. And then you go into the next generation, but I feel like we're kind of into, at this point, where it does have to change. I mean, change is sure. okay, and it's good. It's just, you know, I, I'm just, I get a little overwhelmed every time I go around town. I'm like, oh, new building. Oh, what, what, what is yeah. that? When did they get there? Did they get there? Yeah. Yeah. Did they get there? Yes. <laughs> yeah. On my Nash Vegas Entertainment Group um, card was the skyline of Nashville. Oh, you got to totally and change that. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's about so, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Sorry, week. Right. And yeah. I thought, well, I think I'm just going to redo the logo and just put cranes. Oh, there you, <laughs> you go. Know? That's the official perfect. Nashville yeah. bird. Just exactly. put cranes. Yeah, you drive all over town, there's 20 cranes at any given moment. Like every time. Yes. I think it'd be kind of fun. Sky, well, seriously, when I would have to go around town to go to the next store, I would actually count the cranes every day. Like, <laughs> there's an extra one today. You're, there's 17. You're, yeah, you're so. in the 20 some days. Oh it's just, it's, it's mind-boggling. It's amazing. Yes, it's kind That's of nuts. That's great. So, well, the thing about Philip, why I'm, extra, I'm excited he's here because he's our good friend, but I'm also excited he's here because... He always challenges me for something different. He doesn't even know that, but he does. Because um, when I when I create food and, and do things on our menu, I don't really think about some alternatives like, you know, vegan choices and... My tofu scramble recipe. I've got to do your too. tofu it's, scramble recipe. It's damn good. And, you know, also now some non-alcoholic alcohol. <laughs> really? Yes. You know? Yes. And so you're always putting me up to the challenge, and I love it. So, um, Kimber, I'm going to start with you because sure. um, Phillips also brought us some stuff, which I'm very excited to try. But since this cocktail is enticing me right mm -hmm. now that you made, yes. I want you to talk about what you've pulled from us and the process of how they make it. And so Seedlip was actually um, the brand that you pulled and I have here at Wine Down. But um, go ahead and talk about that a little um, bit. So, yeah. So it's the world's uh, first distilled non-alcoholic spirit. Um, they do have um, three different ones, which I think is fantastic because you can have one that um, has citrus to it, which we're getting ready to drink right now. I made us a citrus margarita, seed lip. Ooh. So basically, it is the citrus um, that we'll use. I have to turn around and see which one. That's no. Uh, that's spice, of course. I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> there it is. There's one behind door number three. I can't see on the front. So I'm using the citrus uh, non alk. And then basically we're using a little bit of um, agave nectar that I brought. You're going to do just like a, maybe about a half a teaspoon of this. And then a little bit of lime juice. Mix it all together. Shake it Can up. Can I have a worm? Ice. 
Can I, is yeah. it is supposed to tequila? Is like, I need tequila? A, can I get like a not drunk worm? <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> then you start putting one at the bottom of He'd probably bottom. float. I don't know. I think they probably stink. do that with their garden one. They have a garden <laughs> one, so their garden would probably be Oh, great. natural. <laughs> All natural. Okay, okay, cheers, guys. Cheers. cheers. Absolutely. All right. Our camera guy has one, too. Yes. Our projection crew. You have to come. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, delicious. Oh, my God, that's fantastic. I've heard of seedlet before, but this is my first time trying it. Yay. Trying oh. it. That is amazing. So you do get this, like, with mm. the grove, you're getting um, almost a Mediterranean orange. Mm. But you're picking up some, like, lemongrass or a little lemon peel with it. That was amazing. Yeah. I was expecting a, a gin. Uh, kind of feel from this. This is um, this is ridiculous. This is fan. Yeah, this that's is fantastic. Awesome. I mean, goodness gracious. Yeah, that is. That is. Oh really will it still give me the giggles? I, I, <laughs> well, if I told you there wasn't in there, would you just pretend? Yes. <laughs> that, really, really, I mean, this is just fantastic. Wait, I'd probably put my pinky up too. <laughs> I gotta put my finger on what. Okay, I have to have another one of those. Oh, this is oh, this is great. This is delicious. That's fantastic. I feel like. I could sugar drive. free. Yeah, or, I mean, brain. <laughs> or do brain surgery, even. And the great thing about it is that, you know, if you don't want a drink that has a lot of sugar or calories, there you there's go. None that's that, that's, right? that's what I don't want. Sugar Zero or and calories. All Zero, and it's, uh, it's fantastic. And so they do have a spice which is uh, like an allspice, kind of a cardamom, has almost like, um, it's just got this really crazy finish on it, which is so good, because you can make some great cocktails with it. And then also they have um, their other one that's, uh, it's almost, it's garden, it's like, a, it's like a pea, like a green pea, kind of, but it has these natural herbal qualities to it, a little rosemary, a little spearmint, so you can nice. make all kinds of really fun cocktails, and they have a lot on there. Um, website as well. So that's great. Are we going to get to try these just we straight are. up? We're going to try them straight up. Can we do it? <laughs> Let's do it. To. Okay. Let's All do right. some shots. Let's do, Let's do some shots. <laughs> Actually, we're going to do the. Do I need to get some lime and some salt? <laughs> yeah, seriously. And my belly button. I <laughs> 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 think non alcoholic body shots work. I think that's one, that's one thing it won't work for. I said that if I've ever done a non alcoholic <laughs> body shot <laughs> before. <shot. laughs> First time for everything, so here we go. I was like, goodness gracious, it is. Oh we're, we're doing it. Uh, oh, it's a, it's like production crew. So yeah, this alcohol is a, without the bad decisions. Crew. Well, you, the bad decisions are your fault. You can't blame <laughs> right. on anything. Right. This accountability drink. <laughs> accountability. It's so, so, so which one is this one This again? is actually going to be the citrus, the one that we just actually made okay. the margarita with. Mm. It's called the mm. Grove. Okay, this where's yours, Kimber? Oh, it's right here. Okay, cheers. Right, cheers. cheers. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers John. Mmm. Oh, wow. So you really pick up that lemon peel mm, when it's by itself like that, or almost like a lemongrass. Yeah, but that's really oh, nice. That's that would so actually, good. okay, Orange. I'm going to go a different way. This would actually also be good in a tea. Oh, absolutely. You know? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or tonic, tonic water. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. Some soda water, water with it. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Okay, we're going to do the, I'm going to reach the over garden. here in just a second. Okay. We're going to do the garden. A garden shot. I feel healthy already. This is so good. <laughs> this one is very, uh, it, it's very garden. <laughs> it's actually wow. made. Put it what into, you're saying. Stick your nose in it. Yeah. What does that remind you of? It's almost like rosemary. As opposed to rub your nose in it. Mm -hmm. And spearmint. Oh, I do like that. And a hint of pickle. Mm. Are you yeah, there's some dill in there. You know? Yeah, totally. <laughs> oh, that's damn, it. that's great. Yeah, that's so good. Mm. That would be Bloody Mary mix. That's what I was, I was just saying. thinking. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. That's the one. That is. Yeah, you could do that. Absolutely. Oh, I'm oh, totally good. drinking that. I that know. would be great in a Bloody Mary. Okay, and now let's try the spice. This one is fantastic. This one has almost um, a little bit of that cardamom allspice. Um, this one is fantastic. This one's the one I've been keeping here and on a regular basis. Yes, and you actually can make some great cocktails with this mm -hmm. one. I'm going to give you some other recipes okay. that you can make with this one. I love the labels on these because they're so much fun. And... You don't really, oh, they stand that. out on that so shelf good. like you would even in retail stores, mm -hmm. on a bat bar, at a restaurant. I mean, they just really stand out. So This almost smells oh, like cinnamon. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This makes me feel oh, like I'm not wow. gaining a pound. You're really not. You're really <gasps> not, yeah. 
It's nothing. <laughs> Zero in all columns. It's amazing. But not flavor. That, but not flavor. That is so good. I can think of so many oh things that I could make with that. Oh my that'd gosh. That would be a, a rum substitute for yes. me. That would be... Absolutely. Yeah, oh, that's a good idea. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's fantastic. Totally. There's some great that's mixers fantastic. that you brought to me that would be good. Yeah. So that's actually distilled. Yes. That's actually a spirit. Yes, it's actually distilled. Removed. So, you Amazing. know, it's planted and then, then they harvest and then they freeze and then it, it goes through the whole dis distillation process, just like if you were mm -hmm. making a spirit. And then it's just filtered out and then it's bottled. And so you're getting all these flavors. Just no alcohol. I love so. it. That's really great. So were you going to make us another cocktail? I am. I mean, a cocktail? Yes, <laughs> I will. Okay, well, here, I'm going to give you the cue. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> <laughs> it was like magic, elfin magic. <laughs> So, so now what we've done is, uh, we, that was a little quick spirit there I made for you. And we have used the spice and also a little garnish of ginger ale. And that's it. And you just shake it over ice. And so see what you think. Mmm. Okay. Wow, it oh, tastes like so I'm going to be doing things in a proper manner today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You John really? will not have to put me over his shoulder and put me in the car. No, 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 Delicious. Is refreshing. That is so refreshing. That is so delicious. I mean, that is your summertime set on your porch. You know what? I think this one is my favorite of the two. That's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry about him. It's just a little COVID. <laughs> He's over there. Yeah, yeah. You know, and Holy before that, like nobody, you can't even cough anymore because, like, if you, you get something, oh no, yeah, you can't cough anymore. And I used to, you know, like if you cough anymore, you just go, oh, don't worry, it's TB. And they're like, fine. oh yeah, that's good because it's not as long as it's not COVID. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, you well, can good. stay. You can stay. Oh, so yeah. Mm. That's delicious. Okay. So now I have two cocktails that I like that's, mm. that's not out. So I'm super excited. We could call this the Spice Girl. The Spice Girl. I, <laughs> I do like that. Sober Spice. Sober. <laughs> <laughs> that is very good. good. That's great. That's good. So that, and, the, and the first one was kind of margarita. -y I know. Kind of. It tastes just like a margarita to yeah. me. That's so good. Or a nar nargarita in a nar nargarita. Nar 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 <laughs> you can drive um, home margarita. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And so oh, today we've done something completely different that we haven't <laughs> done. But again, Philip is always challenging, pushing the brink, pushing us mm -hmm. to the brink. Yeah. But uh, he's brought us some more non-alcohol choices that he's been turned on to. And so he's gonna share those with us. So I'm really excited to try. Yeah, so these uh, four over here are from a company called Ritual. And these aren't like Seedlip. Seedlip is distilled with alcohol removed. These are new concoctions altogether. Uh, all the labels are on, uh, all the labels, all the ingredients are on each label. And it's made of different juices, spices, herbs, and, and peppers and stuff to make a thing reminiscent of the, the, the liquor, so you're not gonna have that. It's not gonna be like, this is just like Jack Daniels. It's, you're not gonna have that. Uh, the whiskey is whiskey-esque, um, and you can have it over ice, I do sometimes, but it's better, I think, in cocktails. Like I make, um, I'll do a new fashioned. Yes. Um, oh yeah. And it's really good in those. Um, and uh, let's see. There's no artificial anything in those. Nothing. And there's uh, 10 calories in, there's 10, in, 10 calories in these two, zero calories in these two, less than one gram of sugar in each of them. So same thing it's with fantastic. the seedlip. It's, it's super healthy. Um, so let's do some shots. Yeah. Let's do yeah. Uh, so let's do the whiskey. <laughs> now, the whiskey is really kind of scotch. It's really mm. smoky. I'm oh my gosh. Does it have that hint of band aid? Uh, you know, like some of those real no. pea scotches, they've got like this little <laughs> antiseptic <-aid>. twist. <laughs> I've never heard of that. I always say, when I have a peated scotch, I'm like, just go and get me an ashtray and I'll make it. Because that's exactly <laughs> what we're I know. Yeah. And then when we do scotches, well, we're sorry, we apologize in advance. <laughs> I do love scotch. Yeah. No, I do love scotch. And I, am a, I do. I do really love scotch. Most women go, oh, I'm just not a peated scotch yeah. man lover. I just can't. It? It's hard for me to do peated scotches. But other than that, I love a good I scotch. I don't know. That? Maybe it's just because I didn't have the pipe to go John, with. John, do you want one of these too? No, but I'll do one. All right. I'll do one. So this is extremely. On um, behalf of the crew. I'll, I'll about production crew. It's pretty, it's pretty spicy. Yay. They are pretty spicy. I love it. Um, so yeah, cheers. 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 Cheers.
So this is the whiskey, the ritual whiskey right here. Oh, that's good. That it's even gets a right? little burn. Oh, that yeah. is. Is that got, what is it in it? Um, it's got, uh, black peppercorn. Black peppercorn. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you yeah. get that heat. It's yeah. a little heat on There's the some hay. Vanilla. We even have Nashville hot, not alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> There's some oh, it's got a smoky nose it to does. it. It tastes like vanilla. Okay, this is like the best scotch I've ever had. Oh, it's not scotch. <laughs> yeah. This is the best non-scotch I've ever had. You really see what I mean how it's like that? It's that kind is of fantastic. Yes. yes. Very. Yeah. Very much. You know yeah, what? I, I would just drink that just like that. Yeah, just over neat. ice, it's just neat with, uh, I like it over some ice cubes, yeah. like I said, with, um, I've done old, uh, several old fashions with oh, it. Oh, wow, yeah, delicious. Yeah, I like those at home, so. I would absolutely, wow. okay, John, we're definitely getting that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can get these in town. I order these right from, um, from right from, direct from them. Uh, where do you get, can you get Seedlip in town? Yes, okay. Seedlip, you can get Seedlip in town. Uh, they're at... Retail stores, bars, um, your bar here at Wine Down Nashville. Nashville. Well, you can get Seedlip. Absolutely. Come if, have a fantastic drink. If any place has Ritual in Nashville, I'm unaware of it. So, well, not, not we might have not, to bring so. that in because yeah. I really want to get a nice collection of things like this. And that is delicious. Isn't that that good? is delicious. Okay, what else do you got for us for this? I got uh, here is the tequila. This actually works great in any tequila mixture. Uh, makes great margaritas. This has zero calories in this See, one. This is zero calories, less than one gram of sugar. Love it. Yeah. So wow. it's uh, These are fantastic. That, just, that was yeah. fantastic. Just flavor. I love it. I guess you guys are liking those. Yeah, that's the first one that I tried. Um, I kind of cut oh. back on drinking a lot during the pandemic. Amy, this. Oh. Because drinking four bo drinking a box of wine or red wine a day doesn't really do well for, and I'm not kidding, I was doing, for those of you playing at home, that's four bottles of wine a day. Oh, no. Um, so that doesn't do very well for anybody, so I was doing that. So I had to cut it back a little bit, well, cut back a lot. Oh, my um, goodness. So, so again, this is oh, more wow. mezcal. It's pretty peppery yeah. again, um, but it's, you know. That's delicious. Yeah. That wow. Is. You know what I like about all of these is that they really do have a spiciness to yes. them. Yes. It's not, they're not bland. At no, all. they're it's not like they're, bland. This is pretty hot. No. This is like. I like that yeah. myself, so. I mean, this one hits you in the roof of your mouth, the yeah. sides, or mm -hmm. even when you swallow this, it's like you feel it right there. Just for a second, it's not super hot. It's that just, is great. And the mouthfeel of all these is pretty good. It's, mm -hmm. it's like you're actually drinking something. Yeah, it has some body to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not like just really, um, really thin. I agree with flavorless. that. Whatever. Wow. Um, so yeah. I support this message. I support this message. Yes. That's, so that's fantastic. The tequila. So I'm just, this is the newest one, the rum alternative they have. Oh. And um, I make a, I make what I call no hitos with this one. No hitos. And they're delicious. Nice. Get the muddler out. I also like the name the because I mean, talk about the name for a minute. Oh, ritual. Yeah. It is because think about. I mean, for me, I even I even bought the real glasses. I've got rocks yeah. glasses. I've got mm -hmm. martini glasses at home. Um, that's part of it for me. I drank because I liked the taste, and I didn't like how drunk I got, how fast I got drunk, and how drunker I got than my friends. And but I still like the taste. When I quit drinking, I did research and I found beers that we're going to talk about in a second. <clears throat> but then I came across this company and ordered their or everything they had, and, and be became like a pretty devout. Um, well, it is a ritual. It's I a mean, ritual. it is a it really ritual is. because when you do go home in the afternoons and you had a long day and you're tired, you usually pour yourself something. Yep. And yeah. so exactly. I, that's like a fantastic name for So this, it just so. helps the people that, I mean, and, and what's, what's great about this is I might not drink uh, hardly at all, but two, you drink alcohol, but you're drinking these. And that's the thing I think it's important that everything you two drink during the day isn't alcoholic. You drink Cokes, you drink sodas, you drink sparkling water, right. you know, it's like, what's the deal with, why is this a stigma That's so on this? delicious. You, you know? know the nose on this is like... It's like a, a bourbon. It is, but the nose is like a cake that yeah, your it's grandmother... it's like a caramel It totally is a caramel, yeah. a caramel cake. Yeah. Like a caramel cake oh, your man. grandmother used to Vanilla. make. Mmm. Yeah. The rum is one of my favorites of... of, of wow. Them. It's really good. I could not drink and be happy. It's very... Wait, drink and be merry? Not drink and be merry. No. <laughs> I thought um, you said no. married. No. <laughs> that's it's why like, I was looking it, at you like, what? In some cases, that's the truth. <laughs> Mary. Wow. 
Okay, That's I'll fantastic. have to say That's... I'm a little surprised. That's a good one. I'm surprised. I didn't know how I'd go for this not alcohol thing. <laughs> oh. The thing is, I mean, there was no choices and the beer sucked. Yeah. For decades. Mm -hmm. uh, we, there was nothing there. So that's part of the stigma is because people think it tastes bad. But now the beer's fantastic. And then there's, and there's oh, way yeah. more companies than this. Right. These are just two. Um, there's so many companies that are doing this same type of thing. Ooh. And um, I just, like it's lingering. Now the rum's great, isn't it? That yeah. is that's a good one. Yes. That's their newest one. Yes, um, it's great. Ten, only 10 calories uh, wow. per, uh, per shot in that one. So this one is the gin. Wow. And this one is uh, extremely cucumbery. This is very, oh, very, man, very gardeny. And I'm gonna love this it's too. It's very gardeny also. I like that. Yeah, I think it's one of the reasons why I like mm. the garden on it because it has that herbal yes. to yeah, you'll, it. You'll love I'm this. I'm a big then. gin okay. fan. John, and, John turned me on to gin. I actually didn't like oh, gin until yeah. I met John. I'm a, I'm a oh, gin. I've never really had it. I'm a gin martini guy. I put that. Yeah. I make martinis at home, or sorry, martinos. <laughs> uh, I make martinos at home, martinos. and I do gin and tonics, and this goes. Just perfect in there. Oh, as it, uh, Bloody, yeah, Mary, Bloody Marys as well. Oh yeah, that's great. So a lot of gins, uh, you know, have that. Um, mm. I always feel like almost like a Christmas tree sometimes when you're, you know, yeah. tasting. Whereas a lot of the gins that are coming out now have a lot of different botanicals, more like citrus and those um, lemon and limes. They, I don't know, it's just a totally different than the way that I remember. Back, you know, in the in the nineties, drinking gin. Yeah. You I'm know what like, this reminds me of? Beef eater with the red plastic. Yes, yes the yes, nose yes. on this reminds me of like those hippie secondhand stores. What's that um, patchouli? Less patchouli. <laughs> Less patchouli. <laughs> Less patchouli. <laughs> yeah. I get just a hint of patchouli. Some, it smells some like non champa. It smells yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's probably just me. Uh, to be honest, it's probably is the gym. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Right? That is so good. I mean, it smells like a hippie shop. Yeah. But in a good way. Or, or, or clean, not a dirty a hippie. Clean hippie. Clean hippie. Yeah, clean, clean hippie. hippie. Clean hippie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they have to if we're doing belly button shots. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they said <sense> freeze. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, that's so good. I need wow. to go buy that's some, great. you know, suede pants now. Okay, I yeah. love it. What else do you have for us? Because, I mean, usually we're just here talking about your career, but right now this is actually something that you've been getting into, so this is yeah. kind of part of your I've career. I've been really, really into this um, for the past 18 months or so, yeah. uh, getting into this. And also, I was a, I'm, well, still am, I'm a beer fan, mm -hmm. and a, more mm -hmm. specific, a craft beer fan. I love the taste. I love the DIY-ness of it. I love the entrepreneurial spirit of these guys starting breweries in the garage and making it the whole, I love everything about That's it. That's awesome. And I, my job is great because you have to travel around the world. And I loved going to different places and trying, oh, yeah. give me something happy from here. Mm -hmm. Like there's three things. Yes. You know, everybody's got that now. And so I, was, I thought I was gonna really miss the non-alcoholic beer world uh, or the, the craft beer world when I, when I kind of stopped drinking, but didn't have to. Yeah. Um, and the non-alcoholic beer market uh, sales went up by 40% last year. Wow. It's absolutely exploding. Right when everybody became an alcoholic during COVID. Exactly. exactly. And then really everybody did. had to detox the rest of the Yes. Half of no, yes. That was, <laughs> yes. A big, that was a big reason. And a lot yes. of these breweries do uh, direct shipments. That's how I would get it. Now, my, my, uh, I'm in Hendersonville. There's a great store called Pour Vu that actually yep. carries what's mm -hmm. now my favorite brewery. This is called Untitled Art. And uh, it's out of Wisconsin, great beer state, my home state actually. And this is the Italian Pilsner. This is going to blow your heads off. I can't I, I, This is so... I just want you to say Wisconsin again. Wisconsin. I mean, Wisconsin. it sounded just like you were from Wisconsin and I didn't know you were from there. This, and then you said you were from there. This is so, yeah. So you grew up in Wisconsin? No, no, no. Uh, I lived there for five years, moved to Nebraska, and then Alabama. Oh, he can still say it right though. Yeah. <laughs> what part of Alabama? Decatur. Oh, North, yes, North Alabama. North Alabama. There's oh a jar you need to try this too. I was going to say a rocker from North Alabama. <laughs> Decatur. I mean, the, 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 uh, the music, the North Alabama. Thank you. Cheers. Music cheers. Is, cheers. You know, guys. I feel like I need to like, start whipping out Swim Hope wow. Alabama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is going to blow your heads off, I promise. This I'm is the best This already. is the best Look, it's even got, Ooh. let me just say, it's even got this, you know, head on it. I yeah. just can't even believe that.
I cannot tell that that is not no. alcohol. It's, 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 I don't know what wow. I don't know I what kind of black tell. magic is involved in making that beer, but I don't want to know how many people were sacrificed to make this. Wow. I don't care because it's wow. delicious. Okay, that you know what? This is I the Italian. That this is the Italian that all day. That yeah. is fantastic. Peroni, this is it. I mean, you can't even. That is shocking. You can't even compare. I know. You would never know. You would think you were. You were thinking. But you, you know what? Know. I guess you know the only difference yeah, is that there's not alcohol. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have to do <laughs> something to calm down. I mean, like I just have this and maybe a couple oxycodone. I'll be good. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That'll do the trick. And see, you know, that's supposed to make those an alcohol. This is not alcohol. <laughs> you can take as many as you want. And be, be totally that's fine. Like great. You see, like a baby. It's recommended beer. It is. Yes. Four out of five dentists recommend Untitled Art. Four out of five non alcoholics. Isn't oh that fantastic? Gosh, this is that fantastic. is delicious. Isn't that great? So, yeah, they have that at Port Vue. I don't know who carries that's it. That's shocking. Home. I don't know if you guys that carry it. That is actually yeah. shocking. I mean, yeah. I won't, I hate to admit that I've had a lot of beer in my life, but I've had a lot That's of beer. I've had a lot of beer in my life. And, I, <laughs> oh, and too, it's, you know. it hasn't been so long ago that I don't know what beer tastes like. I know what beer can taste like. Yeah. And that's like, it's, that it's, is it's great. It's a great beer. That is great. Beer. That is oh, great. Yeah. Okay, well now I'm really excited to keep trying. So we have one more on the list. Yeah, so this is the same brewery. Uh, this is the uh, West Coast IPA. So normally these are extremely hoppy and they're thick. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're most of the time, you know, seven, eight uh, percent right. alcohol. As opposed to the East Coast. As opposed to the East Coast <laughs> IPA. There's a big beef. Right? There's a big beef between the two. <laughs> You're either we East Coast or West Coast. Come on, pound this real quick. That that is just unbelievable. This one's gonna blow you away. I really I couldn't just, believe how good. Yeah. Now, I've had. There's a lot of good. I, there's a, several good IPAs now from different breweries. This is by far um, my my new favorite. Wow. Oh, this is your new favorite. This is great. Oh, boy. This brewery is amazing. Um, as far as Pilsner's, the one we just had is my favorite. Um, but for IPAs, uh, this is by far it. You really, you can't tell by smelling, can no, you? No, you can't. It's amazing. I'll have to say, John's not really a beer guy. So, um, this, if you're not a beer guy, you won't like this. Because this is like a, this is like a heavy duty craft yeah. beer. Yeah, always we get back to the whiskeys. <laughs> yeah. Yes. The heavy duty craft beer, yeah. Drink okay, up. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Cheers, y'all. Oh wow! This does this tastes very much like a. Uh, oh my god! It's not watery. That's no. a lot of a big a big um, wow. uh, problem with NA beers is the alcohol removal product makes right. it makes it watery. This feels still feels like an IPA. Okay, Absolutely. wow! Because when I go out when I do drink beer and yes I know I own wine down in Nashville but I still drink beer. Mm -hmm. um, I, I get an IPA. Mm -hmm. That's my yeah. go-to. You know, that was mine. Yeah. I like mine. the citrusy quality of it. I like, um, I mean, this with a there's little great, slice of orange There's grapefruit in there, in too, that. Um, that has everything you like in those big, like, yes. floral ones, and it's everything. It's I so love cool. It. I mean, there's so much going on right now. It's just crazy. I would, and you know what? If you didn't, if, you know, I... I would probably not get as goofy. Well, I don't know. John says I don't need alcohol. But, uh, it's a placebo effect. I, I got kind of good dumb after these two. You got goofy, yeah. I, yeah. Well, dumber than normal. Anyway. Isn't that great? That's fantastic. That is great. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, those are so good. Yeah, that is good. So I don't smell like bad decisions anymore. Oh. Well, you can't blame the alcohol on them anymore. <laughs> Well, these are fantastic. Thank you for sharing these because this is um, these are things that we don't get to normally try or, or taste. Yes. And, and you know what? You've actually made a believer out of me during this, <laughs> which is a lot of times what happens when Kimber brings stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know what's coming. Oh, I'm, I'm loving that. That's, it's that's just great. That's, that's fantastic. Those are great. Those are great. I'm really digging the idea of doing a Bloody Mary with the one that has all the cucumber and yes. stuff. Of course, I have the spice. I love the spice. That's probably my personal favorite because I like that deeper, um, mm -hmm. I like the really stronger flavors. Well, now you have the Grove to be able to use to make a margar non -alcohol yes. margarita. Yes, that's just fantastic. So once I, get, once I really get um, the Philip down, the vegan um, tofu scramble <laughs> recipe that he sent me, then we can have the mocktail to go with it right here at Wine Down Nashville. Love so we're definitely it. doing that. This is great. I don't think about the songs, you know, like what you're really singing. <laughs> Until Love you become, um, yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> look it up and you know, look it up. on fire. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I think I was a great uh, Harper, our two, year, two and a half year old uh, granddaughter comes over and she goes, Alexa, play ABCD. She ACDC. ACD. And she oh. wants like Hell's Bells. <laughs> 
Well, some of my favorite music growing up was, you know, I was the 70s, 80s rocker girl. I loved... I loved rock music. I mean, mm -hmm. I had the posters on my wall. You of, were shaking your ass on White Snake's car. Oh, <laughs> White Snake's car! Absolutely, I had them plastered on my wall. Motley Crue, and I loved Night Ranger, and like you know, Rat, Rat, was rat. Big. Oh, oh, I like yeah. love Rat, and then Kiss, and then. So you have to tell me some stories, like you know, I know you've got to have some amazing stories being out on the road with Ace and Gene and in your time. So. I want to hear some of those. <laughs> yeah, um, they were, they're, they're great, first of all. Um, I grew up a massive KISS fan, just absolutely mm -hmm. massive. So having these gigs with these guys is, is, is cooler than it sounds. It's, mm -hmm. they're, they're both great. Um, and they're probably totally opposite, I would think. My friend Ryan, who's also my bandmate in both bands, uh, puts it the best way. The only thing Gene and Ace have in common is that they were in the same band together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are yeah. as different I people mean, as you yeah. can imagine, but they're not like how they treat us. They're both great, but they're just totally different totally people. Totally different people. Um, funny Ace thing was really early on when I, for, when we first kind of, we didn't even have the, the full-time gig yet. We had just done some Australia and Japan shows for logistics. We were with Gene anyway. We were flying from Australia to Japan and when we get to the airport in Tokyo, I get in the group to go through customs with Ace and our tour manager, PJ. And the guys went to another group. So we keep on getting like kind of moved around from that room to this room and can't get in the right line for customs. Finally get in the right line for customs and Ace has his passport out. So we get to the customs agent and he reaches in his back pocket and my hand to God pulls out a 1978 Don Ross Kiss trading card with him on it. No. So let me recap what's happening here. No. Ace has his passport out, and he's about to use his own baseball card, pretty much, to gain entry into the. Oh my God! Back. A baseball card. So he gets to the front, and then he shows the passport and shows, takes the card out, shows it to the customs agent, and goes, "Oh, that's me. I used to look like that." And the customs agent looks at it, waves us through. <laughs> Like, hand to God, I was like, that is such an A story. Oh, and I was like, oh, man. This guy's amazing. He's yeah. he pulled this off. I was just slack jawed, like, what is happening? He just has to have the little, um, the little lantern with the uh, baseball card. He could just, they could just wipe it. Through. Yeah, he had. It was like one of the ones that came in the pack. That's insane. That's crazy. And it was, uh, yeah, and it worked. And he got us through. It was great. Wow. So, yes. but, yeah, yeah, it's just a lot of fun with those guys. And Gene was a Gene was a, um, a hoot. We were with, um, we were with him. So much, so much. Uh, the Ace kind of travels separate most of the time, and Gene, we traveled with him. It mm -hmm. was only him and us, there was no crew. So we got to be pretty tight, we were, we were always at everything together. Um, the very first gig we did with Gene was in Vancouver at this big um, kind of executive convention. It wasn't like a, it was a private gig, mm -hmm. so it was different. He was the keynote speaker. We played a couple songs at the end of this big convention. Uh, Trudeau was there, William Shatner was there, Ray Shatner was one of those kind of things. And so I'm dressed and I'm on, we all should kind of shared a dressing room area and I'm on my knees and you know, on, on the floor on my bag, you know, like getting my necklaces and stuff and my hair's in front of my face like this. <laughs> so I'm, I'm searching for something apparently really focused <laughs> and I hear, no, I won't ask what you're searching for. I hear one of the, my bandmates over there go, hey Phil, and I look up and Gene's bare ass <laughs> is right here. <laughs> Gene's sort of this close. And I recoil in horror complete. And I go, what are you doing? And he looks at me and he goes, what are you doing on the ground? And I go, I'm in my bag getting my bracelets like a normal human being. What are you, what are you doing? So it was, it was like that from the get-go. Oh He's a 12-year-old kid when it comes to pranks. You never mm -hmm. left your drink around him. You'd get a oh, no. salt shaker dumped in him. But ah. he, was, he was the absolute best. We had so much fun with him. Uh, a lot of laughs for those two years, and it was just That's beyond great. awesome for me and just my two best friends, Jeremy and Ryan, that play in both of those bands. And we are friends because of Kiss. That's amazing. Kiss brought us all together as friends. So the fact that we get to share that together and with those two guys, and they're as cool as they are, uh, and as much fun to be around, it's just like it's And so it's I'm assuming awesome. with you growing up, then you were a huge Kiss fan already. Completely, yeah. yeah Belt buckles awesome. and stuff. And my apartment is, you know, I'm a single guy. And my, my apartment is still full of Kiss <laughs> stuff on the walls. Okay, so I'm not feeling stuff. so bad that I had people posted all over my walls. <laughs> no, 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 I still like that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I still live in a dorm room. Uh, no, but it's, they're, they're great. And I'm, uh, my, it's, 
it's just it's fun talking about them and thinking about it because it's just it is my life and my life really is is so much fun. So oh, I have to say, my friend Guy Gilchrist that um, illustrates for the Muppets and oh, uh, yeah. he was the illustrator for um, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I mean, I could go on and on, Nancy wow. Comic Strip. But one of the things He's he was doing, oh, he was doing Nancy Comic Strip and, and I think I was in Florida, John, we were in Florida and um, Philip and I were chatting, I think, online because um, Guy had told me that he did a Nancy comic strip with a kiss theme. And um, yes, remember that's that? right. And then, so you told me something that I thought was just really interesting to know about how Gene learned to speak, uh, learn English language through comics? Comic books and, comic books and really? TV. Really? Yeah, he was, he yeah. moved, he moved, uh, he was Israeli born and moved over to New York with his mom and he was like eight, seven or eight, mm -hmm. I think. Um, and yeah, I couldn't speak the language. I had wow. nothing, and learned everything. Got into comic books, and that was his main. That was his main kind of um, was one of his inspirations for the the makeup. Was old horror movies. He loved Lon Chaney and Bela Lugosi and all those kind of mm -hmm. old horror mm -hmm. movies and science fiction movies. That and comic books. So that really shaped him and shaped the demon character in Kiss. Sure, sure. Trip? I told him. I sent him the thing. Did I think you? He loved it. Well, oh, right. said, you know why his ass was in front of her face? Because <laughs> yeah. he was always watching her. <laughs> <laughs> he was always yeah, exactly. like growing up. <laughs> that but is yeah, great. But yeah, he loved. He he knew Guy because he know he's an encyclopedia about things oh, that he that knows right? about. So yeah, he knew that. He loved that. Oh, how fun yeah. is that? That is great. That so is yeah, great. that was another little weird weird connection. And then something I learned about. Gene, who we've never met, but we'd love to actually. Yes. Um, John said that the reason he plays bass is he loved uh, Gene Simmons, and uh, oh. and also because the cello would not get him any girls whatsoever. <laughs> 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 That is true. I mean, I love him, so I would like to hear him play cello. But other than that, yeah. yes, yes, I see where he was going as a teenager. <laughs> and Tommy Lee's first just wrote his accordion, and it was like, oh, I can't get any chicks. Really? Yeah, I can't get any chicks with an accordion. Like what are you talking about? Up. Yeah, you know, that's crazy. Really, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> that billowing air. <laughs> Little t-shirt, no, no shirt with his little accordion. Yeah, no shirt. With, with, with his speedo thing and suspenders. <laughs> Maybe a mouth harp. You know? no. And a lot more cowbell. No. <laughs> so, uh, so how did you, what was the number one reason why you went to work and played with Accept? Because I've always been curious about that. So, uh, so except is pretty much a Nashville-based band now. Mm -hmm. uh, Wolf Hoffman, the uh, remaining founding member, um, moved here in the early '90s. Mm -hmm. You guys know mm -hmm. Wolf. And they asked, so he was one of the first non-country guys to move to Nashville. And um, in 2015, I think my friend Christopher Williams uh, got the drum gig. In oh, except. that's right. Yep. And so I, I knew some other members too then, and they needed a, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna start burping in a second, just like real beer. Because <laughs> it is, it's still carbonated. It is carbonated. So yeah, there's, there's that much. And you are still a dude. Yeah. Yes, and, uh, well, I'm going back and forth between. <laughs> you can mix and match, there'll be no headache, it's great. Um, but uh, I started with them, I, my first thing was only, my first thing was only gonna be one thing. The mm -hmm. fact that I'm in the band now wasn't supposed to, was that supposed to happen really. Um, I did, Wacken with them, which is Wacken is this um, German mm -hmm. metal festival in front of like 90,000 people in northern oh Germany. Gosh. It's no the pressure. it's the biggest <laughs> one. Seriously. And that was right? going to be uh, that was going to be the only thing I was going to do. Wolf did a side project of um, classical music, but it was arranged for a four-piece metal band with a symphony orchestra. Sweet. Doing Mozart, Vivaldi, real like classical pieces. Mm -hmm. So I was guitar in that with him. Yes. It went great. 30 minutes. 90,000 screaming German metal fans, <laughs> awesome. That's great. So then that was in 17, so two years later I get a call that um, they need me to do a tour of that, a six week, well three week, six week total tour of Europe and Eastern Europe with Accept and an orchestra. Oh. Because Uwe Lulis, the rhythm guitar <laughs> yes. player, couldn't, couldn't do it mm -hmm. at that time, so they need me to come fill in. And so I did that tour and it was half Accept and half classical pieces, but all with an orchestra. Wow. So at this point, I'm, then now I'm kind of doing the choreography with Wolf. It's a big part of the show. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of getting in there. We're getting along really well, and I'm fitting in. The crew's great, and it's a well-run thing. I'm having so much fun. Shows are going well. And we get done with the six weeks, and then um, 
me and Wolf were having lunch at a Thai place over here, and they said, well, do you want to do you want to join and be like a full time member? Oh my god! I was wow. like, yes. I was hoping you were gonna ask me to the dance. I was yeah. Like, yeah. And yes. I was getting sad because I like everybody so much, and the crew's German, and we're never gonna see them again. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, he asked me to join. I'm like, absolutely. Fantastic. And I'm very lucky that that the Accept Camp and Ace's Camp and Ace are cool with me doing both. Both, yeah. Um, Accept is my priority, but mm -hmm. I think I've only missed two Ace shows in, in the two years that I've been doing wow. this. Uh, well, I, we don't count last year, so I didn't do anything. But, um, but yeah, I, I luckily, like, one tour ends and I have a day to repack and do laundry and the next one begins and yeah. then vice and the same, same thing. thing. Uh, so or no, yeah. so that it's, is I'm something really that people don't know about the music business because they think that if you work for one person that that's mm -hmm. or a band and that you're yeah. that's it. Right. But yeah. quite frankly, most people do one or two Yes. Uh, yeah. tour, you know, tours, yeah. some, you know, at different times. And there's times, dude, there's, there's no more U2. Those days are done. Yeah. Um, and and uh, most people, you know, that I know, you know, do different gigs. You know, I've got two big prominent gigs, um, luck, luckily, uh, that I enjoy very much and with legends that I, that I grew up admiring. And, mm -hmm. um, and then also... I got, you know, I think you have to do other non-music stuff if you're going to do, if you, if you have something, you've got to have a side hustle. Yeah, you got to have a side hustle. Sure. And I will have to give it to Philip. He's always got a side hustle. I mean, it's good. like you're the one most like go get them person. Like you always reinvent yourself with something different. You're always staying current, you know, and during the pandemic, I thought that was something I really admired about you is you were always, you know, doing something new and staying current on social media and stuff like that. And I think that's very important when you're, you know, developing your career, keeping sure. your career current. It's, it's a it's a huge tool that wasn't there when I really started. Um, yeah. So you know, I'm just trying to catch up and use it as best as I can. Plus, you know, a lot of people go, oh, he does that, and they, do, you know, we all have a million irons in the fire. But mm -hmm. you know, when you're a creative, really, that's your title. I mean, yeah. the, you're a creative, so that can go to a lot of different aspects of, you know, whatever you do. Absolutely. No. So it doesn't limit you to just being a musician, you know. Right. So we're seeing that with a lot of what you've got going on, and then I want to talk to you about Mutt Merch. So yeah. that's a big deal, and that's something that you started, and I, I want to hear about that. So. Yeah, it's been going on um, a little over five years now, and it's a clothing line. Well, now it's more products too, but it's uh, dog and music themed. I so I have Black Labbath, Bones and Noses, Aerosmith, <laughs> um, Motley Chew, <laughs> Death Shepherd. You love that one. Oh, I love um, so yeah, and the shirts I make are for people and dogs. So I make dogs oh, so you can match. Love it. Uh, but I've got a lot of I got the the website is muttmerch.com. That's awesome. I just put a ton of clearance. I found some old inventory, so I'm blowing that out at clearance. Clearance prices so low they are insane. <laughs> um, go to muttmerch.com, and uh, that's a lot of fun. And, and it's I'm gonna it's I'm gonna mention this too. It's still kind of early, but I think I've got a non-alcoholic beer line being worked on too. Ooh. So that's Ooh, yeah, really I've, nice. I've been. Um, Pretty into that scene for oh, what, six years before it even existed. I was wanting to do not like a hot yeah. craft beer, and now the market's kind of come around. Yeah. Um, I think I found a home for it uh, here. Yes. And so um, I love it. Yeah. And you I'm, know we're really going to carry it when you get it done. Yes. We will carry I'm it. I'm really we'll excited. We'll have a big That's... launch party here. Yeah. Yes. And everyone can drive home. Yes. 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 But see, the thing is, <laughs> what I, what I, my, my whole thing is, what I want to do. Is I want to market it to everybody. I don't mm -hmm. want to market it to the sober people. Or that's, a, that's a tiny market. The sober people. That's a, that's a small market. Oh man! I want to that market it to so everybody. Sad. <laughs> but it's a small market. I want to market it to everybody. I want to market it because it, it's going to taste so good. It tastes that great. That tastes so good. That's not mine, of course, but mm. it tastes so good that you can have you can go to a bar and you can stagger them. Yes. You can have four beers but only have really two beers, and you can still drive home and you you have your faculties. Absolutely. So, yeah. I don't even have to cut anyone off. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You don't have to pee a lot with those things. But yeah. that's, that's, that's about well, it. in Germany, don't they do it through a cane or something like on the street? It's like, never mind. Do they? I don't know. That's what I, I heard. I <laughs> <laughs> what is that song that is uh, Symphony, Symphony Pain? Symphony of Pain. Yeah. Symphony yeah. of Pain, yeah. Symphony of Pain. You know, that's yeah. on my uh, running music, by the way. Like at the end of... Except uh, Symphony, Symphony of Pain? On the very end of uh, when you're running in a marathon or a half marathon. You, that I very, do not know what that's like. So okay, have, well, I'm, I'm taking at, your word for it. At the very end, you have to, your last three miles, you have to have some like heavy rock 
I mean, it has to be hard metal, something to get you through those last couple of miles. Um, then you can go to your, you know, whatever. I thought it, everyone just wow. always played Eye of the Tiger. Wasn't that it? <laughs> you, can, sure you, can start, tiger. you can start the, the marathon off with that. But right. when you get to those last miles and you're struggling a little bit, that's when you have to go to, like, somewhere else in your head. So you have to find music that just... It goes with the pace, and even though it's rock and it's hard rock and it's heavy metal, you can still run to that, and it helps you push through right there at the end. So, yeah. and I've done that. Yeah, all, there's a lot of songs on my running music at the very end that's just it's just hard rock. As opposed wow, to great. like when I'm finishing a project, now I'm going to have to hear the string version of Balls to the Wall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just to get my like the the setting right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Light some candles, you know, <laughs> get ready for dinner, guys. <laughs> You'll be pumped up and ready to go. <laughs> get dinner ready for light, lightning speed. At so. lightning speed. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. guys, this has been so much fun. You Nash. have both blown me away with these choices. We will carry these at Wine Down Nashville because we want to have some fun. We want to have some soberness. Don't tell anyone. You can act drunk. It's fine. <laughs> Nobody will even, you'll fit right in <laughs> like a chameleon. But anyway, this is actually, these are all delicious. They are delicious. And yeah, Philip, so thank you so much for being yes, here. Yes, thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me thank on. I really, I, uh, my pleasure. Thank you so much. And I've enjoyed your story so much. Um, it's a shame we couldn't get one more about Gene Simmons and his tongue, but probably there are way too many stories about that floating around. In no, I can't say any of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers, guys. Cheers. cheers. Yay. Right.